you want to be successful, you got to take cold ice baths. You got to run five miles in the morning. You got to do, you just got to stay hard. That's it. Check out this tweet, guys. Kirby sent me this, and uh, this is absolutely true. Uh, multimillionaires, there's nothing special about them. They're normal people. Um, this is not necessarily something that you have to do to become a multimillionaire. I mean, just think about it. It's not bringing you any revenue to wake up at 4 a.m. and run 14 miles. It's actually wasting time. You could be doing more stuff than running around the block. Unless you're, you know, of course, you got the influencers that record themselves, but you got to think, you know, think outside the box. These guys are actually monetizing their content. So uh, this was, I thought this was a funny tweet um, because I see a lot of this content like on social media where people think that it's necessary to do this crazy intensive stuff, but what is the outcome of it? It's not returning to you anything. And I would agree, multimillionaires definitely understand people. That's how they have the upper advantage on getting ahead. They understand that that is such a important key. This is one I'm still learning under Kirby's wing, but understanding people is like a cheat code to life because you just know what to say, you know how to say it, and you know stuff that you can say that's not textbook related to get you to your goal like let's say when you're if you're closing a deal if you're negotiating with someone like there's i would say standard uh practices or standard uh conversations you could have and step by step but you could go around and get creative and just knowing the person and knowing their situation and knowing their personality understanding them and be creative with how you can maneuver and negotiate a deal that way and that's a very uh, skillful tactic i would say that multimillionaires do have but kirby i'll let you uh I'll let you take part from here yeah, it's, um, and, uh, and alex we, i always talk and i always tell you all the time is you have to understand people you can't you can't ever don't you can never do a deal against yourself. That's what I always I always say is you never can do a deal against yourself. Don't think like, oh, if I'm this person, then this is what I would do. So I'm only gonna say the things of as I'm battling myself. No. You have to understand people's mindset in general, in a holistic way and in a macro way. That's that's a big key of it. I mean, that I used to go, let's go on back of working out and all that. Did I used to work out? Yeah. Do I think that there's a place to work out and there's a reason? But that's the part that's never getting talked about. They just saying, you know, go hard, walk, run, you know, eight miles a day, go to the gym three times a day. The only thing I see out of that, I mean, besides, you know, working out, you know, getting healthy is... If you do that, you build discipline to always do the task. The discipline is the key part, especially when it comes to wanting to accumulate a lot of money, being disciplined, time on task, doing it over and over and repetitively. Most millionaires, multimillionaires, billionaires, they're repeating tasks over and over again. If you don't have that bandwidth or you don't have that brain stamina or that physical stamina to do the same things over and over again, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, and keep doing it on a timely manner, then you will fold. Most people didn't, you know, have the luxury or some people say unluxury of you know, going through, you know, basic training, going through the military, going through combat to build that discipline that way. So I see why they say it, but they never say the reason why they say it. They just say, oh man, you got to be healthy. And if you do that, your brain will be stimulated. No, it's all about discipline. You have to be disciplined. And, you know, especially in this PC world we have today, you can't, you, not even in the military, you can have somebody screaming in your face. So that's why they're saying, you know, go through those avenues. But being practical in a way people will accumulate, like the Elon Musk, let's just use Elon Musk. He understand, he understand people. He understand gas prices is a pain point 
I just use Tesla. He understands gas prices is a pain point. He understands that there's a section of the world that, you know, are very cognizant of carbon emissions. You have a section of the world that like fast cars. It's a section of the world that like technology and want the new latest and greatest technology. But he had to understand that's what people want. It's not, oh, I'll build something and then I'll hope people like it. It's understanding what people want and then creating a vehicle for what people want. That's all he's doing. But if you don't understand people and you just go in the mindset of, oh, it's it's what I think is the right way and it don't matter. It don't matter what you think. It really doesn't. Because only thing you're trying to do as an entrepreneur, as a business person, is generate revenue. You generate revenue off the things that you want. So case in point, let's use old Mark Zuckerberg, for instance. He built a platform where everybody shared their deepest, darkest details with the world. You don't see Mark Zuckerberg on that platform divulging his deepest, darkest secrets to his friends and family on Facebook. And Mark Zuckerberg friends with everybody on Facebook. So just because it's a social network out there so people can share, he's not even sharing. So you see what I'm saying? It don't matter what you believe. Is you want what the masses, you want to produce a product for what the masses want. If it's real estate, it's housing. It's not, oh, well, if it's not five-star, eight-rated property, I won't live there, so I'm not buying it. It's what will drive the most people to this location. Would people live here if you're in the real estate business? If you, whatever products or services, that that's it. I don't have no hair, right? But I own a barbershop. Because I know, and it's close to a military base, I know the military have to have haircut. Now, when I go, when I go sit there and pay and get a haircut every, you know, week, every two weeks, paying $30, $40 for a haircut? No, I wouldn't. But I know it's a lot of people that would. So provide the service for them. That's what it is. You have to think outside the box. And that's why the, the, the millionaires and stuff, they always seem like they never, they're never in trouble good times, bad times, and economically, it's because they understand what people are thinking and what people are going to pivot to, and they're already ahead of it, waiting for the people to pivot to that situation. And then that's how they get there. And so if you want to, you know, get to that upper echelon of income and money, and you produce products and service, you have to start thinking of what the mass majority of people want, not what you want. Because if it was what I want, everybody would be sitting in the house uh, reading books all day. Ain't nobody gonna make no money that way. Damn sure I won't. So that, that's why I always say, Alex, don't. Uh, we don't want a whole bunch of world of people like you because then nobody gonna make no money because you ain't trying to come up off the dollar. Yeah. Well, what you got? This, this is uh, this is something we kind of touched on. I remember like a month or two ago, with um, with health and fitness and stuff like that, and. You mentioned that exercising and working out builds discipline. And I would agree that it builds discipline for a lot of them in that aspect. But I've seen so many people that are shredded in shape that are completely emotionally weak when it comes to finance, when it comes to controlling their emotions outside of the gym. Um, you know, and that's that's why I say, like, I believe the best way to continue to be active if you do want to exercise and stuff is like multitask with it, like try to do something. And that's why I mentioned, like, you see the content producers, but they're monetizing their content. They're monetizing their exercises. It makes sense for them. They're making money while they're working out and trying to convince everyone else to work out. But those people that are convincing to work out, they're just working out. They're not doing anything else. So you're taking all this time to focus on just improving your body. And that, that may be may be great for your health, but for your life outside of that one exercise, what are you doing to actually improve your life financially, um, emotionally, whatever? Because the truth is having a great body and physique is not going to change the aspect or situation of your life because if you're fat and poor 
you're still the same person when you're shredded and poor. Like, I mean, you can't do the stuff that you would like to do. And that's just the way I look at it. Like, I wish those people, I've, I've told people that are fit and have a great physique. I've told them, if you do apply that same discipline to this, you'd be great. But they, a lot of people can't seem to figure that out. And, and I'm not going to blame, you know, well, it's, it's really the shorts is, is like, so, you know, like the short, the short form videos, most people don't watch long form videos because they think they get all the information from short form. When they see something and they just run with it. I see it all the time. I get, I get people send me short videos or real videos. I don't know all these social media platforms, but the short form videos and they'll give, they'll give you a small piece of the context. And then I, I find myself having a text and type back to these people, but also you got to do this. Also, you got to do this. This is just giving you a small inkling of what can happen, but you have to do the research and you got to have the discipline to go through the rest of the process. But a lot of people, and that's the reason why they don't succeed is they think it's a shortcut to success. There's no shortcut. Just like there's no shortcut to getting a six pack. There's no shortcut to success. And that's, those are dynamics and, and I agree with you. Like I said, I worked out like a madman, you know, benching 380, 400 pounds, broke as a joke. I mean, maybe he could have given me a girlfriend every now and then and I can, you know, bum and mooch off them for about five minutes and they realize that I'm broke. Yeah. But now I got the dead by going, you know, got a couple dollars in my pocket. Still ain't getting no girls, <laughs> but, <laughs> but my wife, wife still deal with it. You know, so, but that's, that's just what it is. It's, it's, and if, if somebody asks me, would you rather be like you in your early twenties or have your life now? I'd rather have my life now. I mean, could I go to the gym and get the six pack and still deal with that? But yeah, but no, nah, no, nah, I got other stuff to do. I got steaks to eat. I got cheeseburgers to consume. All right, I don't, I ain't got time for all that. I'm just going to be honest. I just don't got time for all that. I use all my energy and brain power to create revenue. I'm not trying to use no more power to do nothing else but eat, eat, and eat. With all that being said, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button, uh, share this video, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and we'll see you guys on the next one.